Today we're going to be making a hard wig cap for our MSD Doll Leaves Boy, though the same method can be used for any doll. Uh, you'll first need a cling film or saran wrap. Uh, this will protect the resin and any face up your doll has. Uh, maybe leave your face up, particularly eyelashes, until later if they're not already done. Uh, make sure it covers as much of the head as possible. We usually bring it down uh, past the neck. Uh, this just means it can be used for the whole wig making process and protects everything. Bring that right down and wrap it around. It's nice and secure. Uh, you'll then need a uh, stretchy fabric such as uh, nylon or jersey. Something like thick old tights or t-shirt will work fine. But keep in mind the colour of the wig you'll be making. We used white as it's for a pale blonde wig. You're going to want to cut out a reasonable size square of the fabric. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, we'll trim it later, but just make sure it's enough to cover the whole of the head. So we're going to then just stretch it over and we're going to bring it down to cover the whole of the head. Um, and we're gonna just hold it in place, sort of stretch it as far as it can go. Take an elastic band and you'll wrap that around the head and you'll want to pull this really tight, nice and secure, depending on the size of the elastic band. So two or we've done three times here because we've got a really long elastic band. Uh, this is just to make sure it holds the fabric securely um, as we don't want it to move at all during the process. Now it's sitting quite tight around his eyes. So we are just going to pull that up a bit. Um, you'll need to also be careful with this if your doll does have eyelashes as it can damage them. But we're just bringing this up closer to the hairline and I'm twisting the elastic band so that it won't roll back down. Um, the exact position of the elastic doesn't matter as this will be cut off. Uh, you just want to make sure it's covering everywhere where you're going to want the wig to sit. So you do want to come down fairly low in the back make sure it's covering everything. You're also going to want to try and pull out any of the wrinkles that you have. Um, this can cause minor issues with making the wig later, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just really any big wrinkles in it we want to be avoiding. But there you are, you're ready to start gluing the wig cap. For this, um, we used uh, PVA glue or Elmer's, but something like uh, Mod Podge will also work fine. We've tried using wood glue, uh, which we use for attaching the wefts at a later stage, but this dried much too quickly and came out too thick, creating a wig cap that was just stiff and unmalleable, which is not what you want. So you want to make sure that you cover the whole of the area inside the elastic band with glue. It doesn't need to be thick, but you will want to make sure you haven't missed any areas. And once you've done the first coat, you leave it to dry for two to three hours until it isn't tacky anymore. Uh, you'll then repeat this process uh, until you have three or four coats, letting it fully dry between each coat. Uh, you can go to as many as about five coats, but we've always found this uh, unnecessary as you'll be adding more glue to the wig cap anyway. So once you are done and you have all the coats on there, you'll get a nice stick, stiff wig cap and you can just cut off the excess fabric. Um, you can also just trying to pull it loose a bit, but um, if you remove the elastic band carefully, it's because you obviously don't want to cut the wig cap um, or scratch your doll or anything, uh, but you can just remove the, wig, the elastic band from around the wig cap, um, which should make it easier to remove. Uh, you may, <laughs> may have some difficulty with this as it is effectively glued to the wig cap now, um, but just, just pull it off and give it a good tug and it will come loose. Uh, cut it in multiple places if you need to. Once you've done this, um, 
you may want to just mark the edge uh, just to show yourself where you want to be cutting. This will is sometimes easier on the doll. You don't always have to do this, particularly um, if it's just a fairly straightforward wig. But if you have a lot of excess to trim off or your doll has an unusual head shape or perhaps ears you need to work around, this can sort of help provide more of a guide for where you're going to cut once you've removed removed it from your doll's head. Um, you will also probably want to mark the back of the wig cap. Uh, this is something we've started doing just because it makes it so much easier to line it back up when you're putting it back on your doll again later. Um, so at this point you should be able to remove it. It sometimes takes a little bit of tugging. Don't worry if it is really secure. This just means you're going to have a more secure wig cap when putting this back on the doll. Um, it doesn't matter if it isn't completely secure, if it comes off really easily either, because there are methods you can use to, to hold a wig in place. But just sometimes takes a little bit of tugging, but it will come loose. You can then see that you have a line to follow. You just pull your cling film out of the way because you don't want to cut this because we will want to be using this for making the wig later. So put that back on your doll. Um, put it to one side um, and then you can just cut along the line and it doesn't have to again it doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of this will be hidden by the wefts and you may want to cut so depending on uh, how you've drawn it and things you might want to stick inside the lines because obviously black marks on a very blonde wig are hard to cover we actually ended up having to use some white acrylic to hide some of these black marks uh, but it wasn't a big problem at all and certainly don't show on the wig now it's made but this is then your wig cap with the mark at the back line that up and you can just slide it straight back onto your doll if you're going to be making the wig now i would suggest you do make sure you've got the cling film underneath it still and that it's nice and securely in place and lined up with everything and then you should be basically ready to go and i will put up another video with how to make the wig and, and that's all thank you for watching